Okay, good morning, friends. This is the morning of day four after returning back from the Dead Sea. And we're already showing signs of uh, inflammation restarting. The uh, first layer of skin has is present again. Uh, and it seems like it will continue to get more inflamed and will continue to grow out more and more as time progresses. The regeneration process did stop um, from the last day of treatment to approximately one to two days ago. But as you can see, it still looks uh, miles better than it used to, um, and it is regenerating definitely slower than, uh, than it used to in the past. Right leg. can see those layers still fighting through. More inflamed. Some picking there. The skin is definitely hardening um, due to the plaque. and the uh, cycle seems to continue. Before we move on to day 12's footage, I'd like to give you a word from my sponsor for this video today. Seven Minerals Aloe Vera Gel. So the reason why I like this stuff, it's aloe vera that doesn't uh, leave that little sticky film on, on you. I, I have always hated that in other gels that I've used. So check them out. Aloe vera's always been great for healing the skin, um, whether it's a sunburn, a bug bite, or anything like that. Seven Minerals Aloe Vera Gel is made and harvested in the USA. Instead of using the normal thickener that other companies use, Seven Minerals uses a seaweed extract, and that helps it to absorb rapidly and leaves no sticky residue, leaving your skin smooth and silky, just like my voice. I use it mostly on my psoriasis, but you can use it on your sunburns, or your cuts, or your rashes, itchy skin, dandruff, or if you're not Asian and you actually shave with a razor, it'll help calm down your shaving burn. I put down a link in the description. Go ahead and click that uh, and, and help uh, support the channel. If you do find that you want to go ahead and give it a try, uh, go ahead and pop in my coupon code that is Alohuino, all one word, uh, and that's spelled A-L-O-E-H-U-Y. N G O, and that'll give you 15% off of your purchase. And now we move on to day 12, day 12 after I've returned home. Okay, fast forward now. Uh, this is day 12 since uh, returning uh, from my trip, and uh, and this is my right shin. Uh, and as you can see, the layer of skin that was coming out uh, from that day four video has come off, come out further, and is dried up now. And I'm attributing a lot, to the, a lot of this um, flakiness right now to the weather um, here in Colorado. Uh, it's dry, it's high, and yeah, I mean, as you can see, this uh, it looks like uh, the effects from the uh, from the Dead Sea have expired upon me. However, that is not uh, it's not all bad. I mean, I think, I mean, if you look right here, I'm gonna zoom up here. That skin right here. This is healthy. This has zero regeneration on it, at all. Nor is it inflamed. So, that part absolutely um, is clean. So I'm confident in saying that, you know, if I had more time to spend out there, um, then I probably could have achieved this level of clearance here, as you can see. So, you know, that gives me a, a lot of hope and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, trying some more things out, maybe come next summertime. That being said, my skin is too powerful. And, uh, and it uh, takes a lot more than two weeks to, uh, to, to clear everything up. 
So, with that being said, let's uh, see if we can't get rid of some of these little guys, huh? You know, there are some very thin flakes, you know, they're not too terribly thick. Um, they're very brittle, so they don't won't come off all in one big chunk. And I don't want to use any of the tools to um, to go in deep and get them all. I just kind of want to take off the stuff that is present on top that will fall off. So basically, I mean, with my uh, with my returning, um, you know, I, I as I said uh, before, it I could I could kind of feel a difference as, as soon as I got back to to Denver, um, that uh, that my skin was getting tight, and I think a lot of that is just attributed to my my climate here. So maybe I'm just not living in the best place for my psoriasis. A lot of this stuff won't come up because it's still, you know, it's not a full um, multiple layers. And and I think it'll cause me to bleed if I pull it off. And I want to kind of try to not uh, injure my skin to, to spread it. I want to try to keep up with this stuff for as long as I possibly can. Um, you know, I've got uh, some products that I have not used since I got back. I was taking some time to, uh, you know, get back with the family and, and, and get back into a routine. And, um, you know, I took uh, those 12 days to, to do just that. But now I think I'm going to get back on it. I've got uh, some mud. I've got some salt. I've got my phototherapy unit. And I've got that 7 Minerals Aloe Vera Gel, which that stuff is pretty good. I mean, you know, like I said, I've used, uh, I've used some aloe vera gels in the past. I don't know if they were specifically gels or not. But, uh, but I, you know, I mean, they were, they were good. They, they, they worked on my sunburns that I've had in the past. Um, as far as my psoriasis goes, I've used it on that. Um, it doesn't necessarily uh, do anything to, 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 to help cure psoriasis or treat it overall, but it does treat uh, some of the other side effects. I mean, my psoriasis, these areas that I have psoriasis are much warmer than, you know, my, my skin that is not um, affected. So, you know, it, it, it has a nice cooling effect to it um, and uh, moisturizing, you know, it'll soak up in there and, and get uh, these uh, these flakes nice and soaked up. And if I, you know, happen to scrape myself, it'll, it can definitely help, you know, cover that area and, and help it heal a little faster too. So the rest of my patches pretty much look like this. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. Let's toss some of this gel on there. Now what I like about this gel is that, uh, you know, it's got that seaweed stuff. So I'm going to use this gel as a uh, substitute for my seaweed bath, basically. And what's really nice about this, this stuff, I've used it for, you know, about a week now. And uh, and it it doesn't leave that layer of film that aloe vera generally leaves behind, and that's nice. Um, I hate stuff lingering on my skin, uh, you know. Despite the fact that I'm used to my own skin lingering on my skin, but uh, but yeah, it's this 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 definitely. I mean, once it absorbs and uh, partially evaporates, it uh, it w it doesn't leave any additional residue, and I, I appreciate that. There it goes. I can feel it. I mean, you can see it just soaking right into those, um, into those flakes, and making them kind of go invisible. So very helpful. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, you know, we'll keep you updated, and uh, looks like I will continue to have flakes for your pleasure. Thank you very much.
Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell and we'll give you more updates on future videos. As for now, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.